My name is Jean Lactash. My daughter, Katery, is going to be five next month. So I'd like to share my story a little bit with postpartum depression and anxiety. My name is Esperanza Williams. I have twins that are 18 months old, and I just wanted to share my experience with postpartum depression. Suddenly I'm at home by myself with two babies, never having even changed a diaper, and healing from a major surgery myself. I just started getting more and more anxious and just started feeling just more kind of out of body. What told me that it was a little more serious in baby blues is that the feelings persisted even after I went back to work. And to get completely real and raw with you, there were times when I was driving home from work and I'd like drive past a river when I come home and very seriously had thoughts of just driving my car into a river. I was in with my OBGYN just for my regular annual exam. She just kind of asked me if I was okay. When she asked that, I said, not really. It's an anger about how sad you feel when you know you should feel so happy. You have everybody in your life telling you, you know, these moments won't last forever, soak it up while they're small, sleep when the baby sleeps, none of that's realistic. I learned that postpartum isn't just being sad. And I wish that I had known that a little bit sooner because it sort of compounded my guilt a little bit and it made me feel inadequate that I, A, I didn't catch something and B, that how dare I not enjoy motherhood and everything that came with it. And I knew about researching car seats and breast pumps and how long they should nap and should I puree my own baby food or should I buy the jars and am I gonna kill my kid if I buy the jars? But nobody told me that I might wanna kill myself. It's important to know that this is completely normal. More than half of women who have children experience this and it's just, there's such a stigma that nobody talks about it. Five years later, I'm still struggling a little bit, but at least I know why and, and that, that helped me a lot. I hope that I can be a good example to her that, that she sees that I am my own person, that mama is, is also Jean. I finally found a therapist that I see weekly still, even though my twins are you know, coming up on two. The one thing even through all of this is that I always remain strong of my love for them and how I didn't want to go anywhere for them. There is no shame in advocating for yourself. If you have a brand new baby, tell me that you would not go to the end of the earth to get that baby whatever help they need if they need it. You'll never be able to do that for your baby if you can't do it for yourself. Just talk to somebody. Voice your concerns. Do not be silent. Silence was the thing that was the hardest for me.